Hi there. In this lesson, we're going to divide decimals by whole numbers. We'll start with the problem on the screen, 14.6 divided by 2. Go ahead and turn on our scratch pad. And the first thing that we're going to do here is set up the problem just as we would any normal division problem. So we'll write 14 point six divided by two. Now before we go ahead and divide, I want to talk about some special terms that we'll be using. The number right here inside the division sign is called the dividend. So 14.6 is the dividend. The number here outside the division sign is the divisor. So the number two is our divisor. Now in the problems that we'll look at in this lesson, the dividend will have the decimal in it, but the divisor will not. So we don't need to do anything special with our divisor in order to divide, but we do need to do something special with our dividend before we can start dividing. And it's a very, very simple thing. We're going to take the decimal and bring it straight up and just write it up here in the answer space. And you're going to want to make sure that you bring it straight up, that it's aligned on your page. I'll talk a little later in this lesson about some strategies in order to make sure you get that lined up. Now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and divide. So two does not go into one, but two goes into four seven times. And I like to draw my, write my sevens with a little line across them. That's the way that some people do it. If you've never seen that before, that's just a seven there. So seven times two is 14. When I subtract, I get zero and I bring down my six. Two goes into six three times. And that goes in there evenly. Two times three is six, leaving us with no remainder. So this problem comes out at 7.3. We'll go ahead and close our scratch pad and we'll put 7.3 in and we'll check to see if that's the correct answer. And it sure is. Okay, let's do another. So our dividend here is 36.4. And our divisor is 7. So I've got 36.4 divided by 7. Now, one thing that is a really smart idea to do is to estimate your answer before you even start. So if we look here at the problem, I want to think to myself, what's a number that's pretty close to 36.4 that's evenly divisible by 7? Well, the closest number would be 35. 35 divided by 7 equals, equals 5. So I should expect that I'm going to get a number close to 5. Now 36.4 is greater than 35, so I'm actually going to get a number that's a bit bigger than 5, 5 point something. But as I'll show you a little later, there's a really good reason to estimate before you start. So let's go ahead. Remember, the first thing that we need to do is bring our decimal straight up. And now we can divide. 7 goes into 36 five times because 7 didn't go into 3. So I had to move over and bring 7 into 36. 5 times 7 is 35. Bring down the 1 and then the 4. 7 goes into 14 two times, and it goes in there evenly. 7 times 14 is 14. So when I subtract, I get 0. So 5.2 is my answer. And if I go back over here and look at what my estimate was, I estimated 5. 5.2 is very close to 5. So I can be pretty confident here that I've done this correctly. Let's go ahead and check our work. 
5.2, sure enough, is correct. Okay, let's look at this one. Our dividend is 39.8, and we divide by 2. So again, let's go ahead and estimate an answer. So 39.8 is very close to 40. 40 divided by 2 equals 20. So I should expect to get an answer close to 20. Let's go ahead and set up our problem. 39.8 divided by 2. All right, remember the very first thing we do is we bring that decimal up. Now we can divide. 2 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. That gives me 1 when I subtract. I bring down the 9. 2 goes into 19 9 times. 9 times 2 is 18. And I go ahead and subtract there. I get 1 and I bring down my 8. 2 goes into 18 nine times, and it goes in there evenly because nine times two is 18. When I subtract, that leaves me with zero. All right, so I'm going to close my pad and put 19.9 .9 into the answer box and see if it's correct. And we did it. Remember, estimate when you do these kind of problems and use graph paper if it helps you to uh, keep your decimal and your columns lined up better. I'll see you in the next lesson.